You're watching KXLY4 HD News. At any given moment, about 3,000 satellites are orbiting Earth. They're used for weather forecasting, military purposes, navigation for ships and aircraft, and for sending and receiving television and internet. But few people know that Washington is home to one of three ground stations unique in its ability to send and receive information from those same satellites. Nestled in the rain shadow of the Cascade Mountain Range, Brewster, Washington is home to a modest population of 2,200. It's probably best known for its fruit industry, producing several million boxes of red and golden delicious apples annually. But there's an unofficial landmark that only locals talk about. It's up here on the hill. Many folks that are in the local community think that we're a government facility and it's hush-hush. Not exactly. It's officially the U.S. Electrodynamics ComSat Earth Station. Fancy for? It's basically satellite communications. It's no different than a microwave station that the phone company would have. David Grooms is the director of operations here at ComSat, as it's commonly known as. This facility has been around since the 1960s, thanks in large part to John F. Kennedy's efforts to beat the Russians in the space race. His executive order paved the way for three U.S. teleports, one in Maine, one in Hawaii, and one here in Brewster. Elevated uh, Mesa above the uh, Okanagan River Valley and the shielding from uh, the Cascades blocks any of the stuff that's over the ocean or in the uh, metropolitan areas in Seattle and Tacoma from coming in and interfering with our uh, RF signals. Behind me is the first and largest of the 40 plus antennas here on site. It was built in 1965. Its dish is 30 meters in diameter and is still operational. As a commercial satellite teleport, Brewster provides uplinks and downlinks of satellite signals to the Pacific Rim, South and Central America, parts of Africa, and Europe. Every uh, Olympics, uh, we, we, we either receive it and rebroadcast it domestically in the U.S. or we'll send it out internationally. So we do get to see quite a bit of the, of the Olympic Games when we send it out. At a cost of one to $1.5 million each, these antennas can maintain a link to satellites more than 22,000 miles above the Earth, traveling upwards of 17,000 miles per hour. Each antenna here in Brewster is built for different applications or projects. Some are used to transmit voice, video, or data. Others are received only. And they play a vital role in how you navigate the Internet. We broadcast uh, a lot of IP connectivity. That's what everybody's wanting in the world, not only in the U.S., but here uh, abroad. Brewster may only be a speck on the map of Washington, but it's part of a larger and broader team of players throughout the U.S. that broadcast satellite services worldwide. It's part of our community. It's a well-kept secret, and it's all ours.